Kids in the Dark Growing up poor in a deep south, man Sharing a lot with my little brother, Ollie Most often, we pass towards close and skin conditions between us Up until he was six, we even share a bed Neither of us were happy about that It was my tank was day when that changed. I got one present that year, and it was a bed of my own. Only was jealous right away, and I could understand why. He had to keep that half broken down frame with the worn now matches. The one I got on wasn't much better. But not being broken and worn was enough. Sleep in the park was a great feeling. It was freedom. No longer would I have to suffer the sudden and inexplicable touch to the stomach. No longer would I wake up with all his food resting through my neck like he stepped on the killer the night before. At least, that's what I thought. Right away, right after I got a new bed, the shriek started. At first, I thought Oli woke up in the middle of the night and screamed because he got them scared. Then, the sound echo through the dining room again. And I knew it wasn't a normal cry. The room was always set black and pitch. After sunset, the one window we had was pressed against a long leaf pile, and even the biggest, brightest moon cast no light inside. The street just about drove me crazy. Every night. Probably at the same exact time, these sharp yaps would knock me right out of my dreams. It wasn't my mom or dad yelling either. I knew what I said it like, believe me. Most worrying of all was the fact I could never tell where it was coming from. It seemed completely random. One night, It come from somewhere near the closet. Your necks, it shoot down from a corner of the ceiling. Any hope I had of having my own space would get us every time as Ollie would silently slip into the bed with me, shaking like crazy. He clasped on to me and wouldn't let go until it was a day break. Most time, I check his hand and tell him everything was going to be okay, that it'd be over by morning, but I was never really sure. Over time, the story started changing. At first, it was only by small degrees. But eventually, it took on a Brahmo hooting sound, the Vabrahmic calling out its fierce warning. I had to glass pillows to my ears just to keep from going deaf. Mom and I never believed me only, especially because the thing, whatever it was, refused to make a beep when it was in the room. Apparently, I wouldn't even hear the through the words, even though it was them so loud enough. The shriek just got worse and worse until I felt like I couldn't take it anymore. Me and Oli was doing really bad in school, and we just had no energy at all. I was sleep more deeply with my head propped up, and I saw one in the middle of class. And in my own room at night, the hand tenderly, we moved out of the house nearly a year later. I had contemplated 
through solid things Even a child's clumsy concept and suicide To get away from the horrific nightly noise There was no problem at the next house It was a nice white cookie cutter home On a dead end street And I welcome the normalcy What's more When we moved in there was one bed Waiting for me and Holly No more broken bed No more second bed I ended up having to share anyway The only problem was deciding who get the top bunk I took Jolly I decided After long I had gotten a new bed way back And he ruined it by climbing in every night What? He shook his head I never did that I had always wondered Why did not stop a second I was sharing my bed Now I had the answer